few minutes before I start the session. So if I mean if I'll get the flow, then uh, you can be like this, all dead, but not at least at the start of the session. Mm -hmm. Still, I can't see anyone. Oh, Pranav, hi Pranav. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Or Pranav Joshi, Omkar. Yeah, good to see you. Good evening, and, sir. And, and good evening. And and then uh, <clears throat> anyone else? Ashwarya. Okay. <laughs> this would be like really difficult for me to go this way, but yeah, I have no other option left but to proceed like this only. Okay. So uh, I wish uh, you all can see my face and uh, I'll just share my slides and I'll proceed. So typically I don't teach on my first days and since this is my first day, so I, I, I would love to interact with you all, but yeah, I sense or I feel like that you are not that proactive. Uh, so initially I thought of uh, asking you to give your introductions first, but uh, since the shyness nature of all uh, of most of you, I would say, so I'll start uh, by introducing myself first. So hi everyone, uh, I am Khalil Ahmed. You're not even responding to my hi. So yeah. So, <laughs> So I am basically a PhD scholar with Symbiosis International University and I am associated with uh, Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore. Uh, I have been teaching marketing and finance since I majored in uh, finance and uh, my minor was uh, marketing. So yeah, so this is quite recent if I'll start since the beginning. So I did my MBA from Marinon University, Aligarh Muslim University, a central university in uh, Aligarh, Uttar Pradesh. And I, I am basically from Aligarh itself. And uh, after completing my MBA, I have been associated with a college known as Aligarh College of Engineering and, and Management, wherein I was teaching courses in finance for undergrad student, BB and MBA. And then I went to NIT Hamirpur, National Institute of Technology Hamirpur, in, which is a beautiful place in Himachal Pradesh. I have been there for uh, one year. I was working on an IC SSR sponsored project there. Then I was working on uh, financial uh, financial and marketing strategies of different SMEs which are working in special economic zones across the country. Uh, then I came to Pune and I got admitted myself into PhD program with Symbiosis International University. And then I got associated with Pune Institute of Business Management. So I was teaching there uh, for like one and a half year and then I got an opportunity to work with Indian Institute of Management Bangalore. Uh, since uh, July 2020, I have been associating with them. So yeah, this is the brief, brief introduction about me and I have been to various colleges and uh, <laughs> educational institutes. And uh, it's been quite a while since I'm taking these online sessions. But yeah, this is really hard for me to digest this fact that <laughs> I need at least a uh, few students to support me. 
support in the sense i am not asking you for any aid to help me in teaching but yeah to be like proactive in class so this boring online lecture can be an enjoyable experience for both of us you and as well as me so if you are not comfortable showing your face which you shouldn't be as you are since you are mba student your face should be revealed it is it should not be like some random youtubers who don't want to show their face and some on a random day they'll just come up with uh with face revealing kind of videos so i don't want that i want uh, you to interact with me i want to i want you to see me and i want you to see you as well okay and yes perna uh so so uh, for this term i would be teaching you financial modeling and uh, before we go further i would like to know or at least i would like to hear something from you and so if you are not comfortable opening your cameras it's okay but you have to speak you have no other way okay wait a minute <laughs> Hello Hello I mean yes, even <laughs> you've been listening to me Yes sir Ha ah, Omkar so i just want to know hear something about you who are you what you do what is the courses you are taking what are your goals and something like this man come on come speak up a bit first sir oh, my name is omkar suraj jadho i am from pune maharashtra i am the purposing right now me as per you know sir uh, sir my uh, goal is to uh, achieve the excellence in uh, in the field of mba to get a good job in uh, good mnc company mm -hmm. uh for that uh, mm -hmm. why uh i am trying to achieve uh, the excellence in the field of mba like some special okay. skills like communication skills or or later skills to grow myself in this field okay good and what was your degree in graduation if uh, I, i i i wish that you can see my screen Yes, sir. Omka, <clears throat> can you see? Yes, sir. Me? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, what? Sorry, voice is breaking. Hello. So, is my sound good? I mean, is it interrupting or something like this? Hello. So your voice is breaking in a little bit. Sir, your voice is not audible. Okay, okay. Is it is it is it breaking too frequently? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Is it uh, breaking too frequently or? Uh, it was like just few minutes before it was good and now it's not good. So, मतलब अभी तक तो ठीक था मतलब अभी बीच में थोड़ा सा रुक गया है बाइस अभी ठीक आ रहा है थोड़ा बहुत. हाँ हाँ हाँ. I'll try to keep my video as well. And like you, so though I do not feel it good, but yeah, never mind. So I'll be uh, keeping it uh, off for some time. Hmm. Sir, so my degree was uh, in uh, become from uh, graduation side. Uh, okay. So, ah, uh, come on. 
so uh, next question is how judiciously uh, you uh, spend money means what sir i don't i don't mm -hmm. able to recall it uh i mean if you are living in a hostel or you are sharing your room with someone or at least you are getting some financial help from your parents or you are earning something out of it so how really you actually spend your money i mean do you think before spending it or it was like just you do whatever you like or you buy whatever no, you like no, buying i just i think about uh, firstly how can i spend my money then i will uh, i'll i'll spend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh in next i am okay. a little okay. bit good, good. sir uh, at least uh, five out of 10 not so good mm -hmm. i am not done in advanced excel course but in first uh, or second semester i have we have uh, the course of excel in our mba uh, mm -hmm. curriculum so basically i know about some formulas and how can we apply it okay. on okay. excel sheet Good. If uh, if I get if I got the last interpreters, how yes, what what three and interpreters what we do? So I will read about uh, some uh, financial things because I am uh, the finance MBA student. I will read books uh, about uh, how can we uh, earn uh, money mm -hmm. or uh, how to invest money in the share market or it is related books like uh, a rich dad poor dad, uh, the psychology of money like books and uh, how think and grow is like books. Uh, i like to read books uh, so much so that's why i will spend my 3 hours to read the books uh, related to the my uh, financial related goals mm -hmm. or my curriculum activity goals okay 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 good to hear that. thank you so much thank you omkar thank you sir next any volunteers or should i call your names i can see who who have joined so far If you wish, I can also speak out your names. Rutuja. <laughs> Rutuja, can you hear me? i believe i am audible are yaar what is this hello hello are someone respond please whether i am yes. audible or not yes you are audible sir ha so um khar other than you anyone else is there pratiksha jayshri pranav joshi over there initially yes sir ha ah, come on yeah speak up something are i wasn't taking attendance you said yes sir and you went away sir i having internet problem <laughs> okay anyone else okay ashwarya chaitanya deepika shubhada lokhande so other than omkar and none of you have your uh, internet is connection is stable is it seriously it is poor yeah. hello okay, yeah hello ha sir chaitanya here chaitanya yes come on yaar yeah. you took lot of time to reply chalo ha dear my name is chaitanya ranri my uh, degree bca uh, completed mm -hmm. And, uh, what was the college is uh, most of the uh, mba mathematics uh, uh, yeah, adding a bike or what sorry sir are you riding a bike or something 
you are on a right yes yes traveling sir <laughs> traveling okay 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 or uh, anyone theek hai puja let it be anyone else hello sir yeah hello oh, jai shri here jai shri yeah come on good evening sir good evening sir my name is jai shri hadwe i am from uh, narengao it's near about man sir i have completed a bba in finance from pune university Uh, mm-hmm. for first first class with distinction and mm-hmm. currently i am pursuing mba finance that's all sir okay and how good you are at excel uh, basic basics uh, concepts sir okay basic concepts are clear okay yes and if you can read the last sentence you can Which? see my screen or not yeah yes sir i have shared a screen na yes uh, sir <laughs> so if you got three uninterrupted hours what would you do <laughs> you don't want to answer this or what sir uh huh talk to after some times <laughs> thank you sir okay okay thank you and anyone else or else i would be starting it so since uh, this is the very first uh, session uh, i would only uh, tell you what this course is all about i mean i would be started with the syllabus you are going to learn and how you will learn it and then uh and then how will be uh, how will be learning this subject okay so yeah uh, this is like uh, introduction the first there are five units you might have seen your syllabus already uh it would be uh, with you with you all so yeah the first unit is introduction wherein we will be learning what is the meaning of uh, financial modeling what are the benefits of it and uses of financial modeling and then um, uh, from uh, this i would be covering it today meaning benefits and uses of financial modeling and uh, from the next classes or from tomorrow or whenever the class is scheduled i i would uh, uh, i would be telling teaching you the basic excel for financial modeling which is like formatting of excel sheet how to format an excel sheet and then how to use the excel formula and some advanced modeling techniques i don't know what it is but yeah i'll try to teach it and then what is uh, how to filter data and how to sort the data and then how to generate charts and graphs table formula and then scenario building and then we uh, will try to go and cover v lookups match and offset and pivot tables so uh, some of you might have some idea about it i mean how to how these basic uh, excel functions uh, works and uh, some of you might be uh, comparatively new to this idea but we will try to keep it little bit slow so that those uh, who already know it they can have one uh, have their uh, practices more and those who are little slow in understanding or comprehending this excel so they can they have plenty of time to do it but my only recommendation is that uh, seriously it would be really hard difficult for me to teach you this the way It, uh, we are doing it today unfortunately or fortunately but uh, this is not my way seriously i need you to be participative i need you to be active i need you to be you know i mean proactive in the sense that i would be teaching you the excel sheets and then you are showing me the results and then we are discussing and then we are talking and and blah 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 
so i would advise you or i would suggest you to please be at home from tomorrow from from tomorrow onwards whenever the class is scheduled so at least for my class you should be at home at a quiet place i will try to and try to have as little interruptions as possible i know that you know that we are living at home and there are interruptions in between but yeah if you try then at least you can minimize the interruptions so i can at least uh, i ask this for, for, from you so for today it's not a big deal i am not going to discuss anything like uh, very important or something like this but if you want really want to learn financial modeling and if you really want to uh, understand how these uh, modeling uh, models can help in creating you know beautiful dashboards and then uh how you can interpret interpret them uh, practically then it would be a really good learning for you otherwise uh, you know you are financial students you have lots of knowledge about oh, financial management and accounting management financial prince accounting principles and on blah 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 what is balance sheet and what is income income statement cash flow you know all these things but doing it in excel which is the uh, need of the hour i must i would say you know we are not living in the old ages where these all things were done on the pen, uh, through pen and paper and you know you have to represent it to the uh, uh, company and then send it to but nowadays it is completely completely uh, it 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 times you know you have to create the dashboards which are which are beautiful i mean visualizing when you see it and uh, and you in the background uh, you have to do a lot of task using only only the excel you know i mean there are a lot of other softwares too but excel is the uh, basic and most prominent software which can help you to create any sort of any sort of uh, data visualization or modeling or uh, dashboard making anything like this so uh, so yeah this is the first unit i'll discuss it uh, and then the lesson second is financial statement analysis uh, in which we will be studying financial statement analysis financial rep uh, reporting mechanics and then what is income statement balance sheet cash flow statement financial analysis techniques inventories long lived assets non current liabilities application of financial statements so uh, yeah i hope and i wish i do not need to teach you these theoretical concept rather i'll only focus on the practicality of it and how we can we can create most of these you know these terms into excel and then uh, unit third would be financial ratios ratios as you might have already aware are the more uh, one of the most prominent thing when we are talking finance about different companies so ratios uh, helps us to uh, to you know check our pace and uh, and evaluate our performance based on different aspects uh, i mean this is the core subject in financial uh, in finance you all might have learned it or uh, or read it sometime so there are uh, certain ratios like ratio analysis of industries different industries do point analysis peer to peer analysis preparation of financial analysis report on an industry specific we'll try to cover this up also and uh, this is the financial management part uh, if you had already red financial management as a subject then you are uh, more aware than me about time value of money long term financing what is cost of capital and measuring of uh, major of leverages and then budgets and types of budgets and uh, i'll try to uh, help uh, make you understand these concepts using excel only and then equity research modeling there are lot of things in this uh, ppt i know uh, you can go you can uh, any time go to your uh, syllabus and you can see what it is all about lesson 5 so uh, this we would be covering through excel only and uh, these are the basically uh, program objective or course objective we can say so based on the 
based on the Bloom's anatomy. These are the five, six things which we should have while we are learning a subject or while we are studying a course. So remembering, remember the concepts, terminologies, frameworks, tools, and techniques of financial modeling. You should at least aware about all these terminologies and what it is. You should know about this because this can be asked in interviews if you are facing after some time. And understanding or to understand the applications and use of MS Excel in financial modeling and its different techniques. This I would be teaching you and I hope that you would become uh, bet, uh, much more aware than what you are as of now. And then uh, applying, applying, uh, develop, apply, and actually use uh, core functionality of MS Excel and design framework to solve managerial problems. What you are learning and what you are doing, and then applying it to give the solutions to the problems, and then analyzing different financial models in order to eliminate the substantial risks of poor spreadsheet coding. So what, why we are doing it so that we can uh, analyze the risk and we can uh, eliminate the risk and evaluating formulate an idea and uh, acceptable solution to solve different problems in the area of financial management and then creating, we have to build the financial models, which I will teach you how to build financial models. So uh, this is end. Any questions? So I have a little bit queries. Sir. Ha, come on, Omkar. Yeah, please. Uh, sir, we have to use computer as well when you are teaching. What Obviously. Ha, I mean, if you want to be like, uh, I mean, I want it to be like a hand, hands on practice session. When I'll be computing something on my Excel and then, and then you are uh, parallelly doing it on your Excel. So that we can have, otherwise there is no point. I'll come and teach you like for 40 and 45 minutes and I'll teach you how to, you know, calculate time value of money and then you are learning it. And at the end of the day, you won't be able to do it as, uh, as efficiently as if you will do it simultaneously with me. Okay, sir. thank you. Yeah. Or koi sahab. Nahi hai. Bahut passive logo do. <laughs> so, uh, 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 wait a minute. Hmm. Hello. Or anyone have any query so far? No, sir. No, sir. You are digesting what I'm saying. All of you. I mean, at least write to write in your chat box. Yaar. Come on. Yes, sir. Any questions so far? I want quick responses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, time Pranav Joshi, message be director. Yaar. Everyone can say, no sir, no sir, Omkar. Pranav Joshi 2. It feels like I'm taking a tuition coaching classes. No sir, Jayashiri 3. I need more. Eh? Writing say I can't identify you. Come on, you are not revealing your face. You are not even speaking. You are not... Allowing me to listen your voice and now you are hiding writing only. <laughs> Come on. Three students are active only, I guess. Poor me. Okay. No worries. I'll, uh, I'll continue. So, uh, yeah, this is the only thing I would be actually teaching to you all uh, for today's session and uh, yeah and we'll discuss if time permits uh, how we will flow and what are, is my expectation and then i'll try to ask you though you are too shy to speak but still i'll try to ask you what are your expectations out of me 
so yeah the first the uh, the first unit is introduction and the first part of the first unit is the meaning benefits and uses of financial model modeling and uh, believe me when i say this this is the only class where i am teaching you the theoretical aspect of it otherwise i'll only teach you the practicality of the concepts which are arriving in the financial modeling so if you do not know what is time value of money if you do not know what is capital budgeting if you do not know what is uh, cash flow statement if you do not know what is balance sheet please go and read it before coming to the class uh, i mean you should come to the class even if you don't read but it would be advisable to read it so that if i'll teach you the basics so at least you have that theoretical understanding about the concept am i uh, am i am i sounding uh, <laughs> sounding fair to you or i am expecting a lot i guess no as you won't answer any of my questions so yeah so what is financial modeling so i would start it by the definition only financial modeling is the process of creating a summary of a company's expenses and earnings in the form of a spreadsheet what is a spreadsheet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so i was asking what is spreadsheet spreadsheet kya hai again it is a electronic ah. documents in which data is arranged ha ah, ma'am ye to bahut fancy definition hai main aam bhasha mein puch raha hu what is spreadsheet kya hota hai i know hindi i know i know marathi i mean i can understand it but unfortunately i can't i can't speak it like more than two or three sentence in a in a row so you can answer me in any language of your choice what is spreadsheet kya hota hai ek kuch nahi hota chalo <laughs> financial modeling is a process of creating a summary of a company's expense i'll try to uh, help you understand this in hindi फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एक प्रोसेस होता है जिसमें हम क्रिएट करते हैं समरी समरी इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ एनी थिंग तो समरी किस चीज की होती है कंपनी के एक्सपेंसिस की और अर्निंग्स की जो कंपनी पैसा खर्च कर रही है और जो पैसा कमा रही है उसकी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्प्रेडशीट स्प्रेडशीट हम आसान भाषा में एक्सेल को बोलते हैं दैट कैन बी यूज टू कैलकुलेट जिसको हम इस्तेमाल कर सकते हो कैलकुलेट करने के लिए इम्पैक्ट ऑफ अ फ्यूचर इवेंट और डिसीजन जिससे हम उसकी फ्यूचरबिलिटी को डिस्कस कर सकते हो कि हाउ दिस इज गोना इम्पैक्ट इन फ्यूचर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर हैविंग बहुत सिंपल यू नो यू ऑल माइंड बी अवेयर अबाउट द फोरकास्टिंग टेक्निक सो वॉट वी डू वी विल ट्राई टू ट्राई टू विल ट्राई टू अकोमुलेट or try to get the historical data of a company say for example like 3 or 3 uh, or 4 years and then what will we do we will try to uh, we will try to come up uh, we will try to forecast it for the next 1 2 or 3 years so this is called the uh, forecasting technique so uh, forecasting this is done in the same way as we are doing the financial modeling why we do financial modeling in order to calculate our expenses and earnings so that we can make certain decisions which are uh, which are future oriented okay i am smiling watching my own face no problem so yeah and then uh what uh, what is financial modeling financial modeling it is a tool for decision making as i have already told you this is a basic tool uh, which is primarily used for decision making and this is an activity for preparing for future financial statements so based on what we have today what type of reports and uh, and uh, company history data we are having with us we will try to 
uh, compiled it and then we will come up with certain things which can be implemented in future or which can be used uh, in future okay yeah and these future financial statements are known as financial models so yahi jo future ke hum financial statements bana rahe hain inhi ko hum aasan bhasha mein kehte hain financial models aur subject ko hum bolte hain financial modeling as simple as that so i'll show you how a interactive uh, dashboard or model would look like i hope my screen visible to you all yes sir yeah yes sir so yeah see this is the amazon so uh, 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 this is the amazon company's data uh, i i'll not explain elaborate it up uh, uh, more to you but yes you can sense it so they are having data for like uh, when it is prepared it is prepared uh, yeah date uh, 9 11 2018 so we have data for 18 and then 19 20 21 we are predicting it for the next few years how our revenue versus ev would go high how our, our ebi dta versus ebi dt da would uh, would be like in coming years what would be the valuation of the company what would be the share price of the company what would be the uh, what what uh, other uh, financial Uh, financial things are this way. I mean, this is just a replication of what we would, what would be doing in uh, our classes. So, uh, financial modeling are widely used in various sectors. You might be aware about it. Uh, it is like investment banking, credit rating, uh, rating agencies, equity research, financial KPOs, project finance companies, and mutual funds. I hope you all know these sectors. since you are finance students and you would be joining some finance companies which would fall under any of these sector what is financial kpos what is kpos knowledge process outsourcing wow jay shree you got 5 points i wish i had certain class participation point to give to you at least that way you would be more uh, active but now yeah thank you so much so yeah uh, uses of financial modeling uh, it is like in the finance industry the value of financial modeling is increasing rapidly this is a bookish language i told you in the simpler language that now uh, this current time is the time of uh, of modeling financial modeling with uh, with uh, with the use of internet and uh, softwares and all traditional ways is long gone and uh, then uh, financial modeling act as an important tool which enables business ideas and risk to be estimated in a cost effective way okay and then financial modeling is an action of creating attractive representation of financial situation of a company where your company is standing it would represent a attractive representation when you see the dashboard you would feel like yaar wow what is this and you know on one touch you can have the full information about the company and then financial models are mathematical terms aimed at representing the economic performance of a business company or business entity so this all done uh, uh with the uh, with the math mathematical terms i mean you would be calculating things you would be adding subtracting certain things out of certain things and then you will be coming up with certain things to showcase uh to showcase the uh, performance of the company okay so this is the last slide i hope uh, you get the basic idea uh, of financial modeling yes sir yeah omkar yes uh, i would even appreciate if you write it in the chat box yes only i'm not expecting a lot yeah and uh, uh uh your lecture lecture timing is like 45 minutes na and no so one hour oh it's one hour okay yes sir mm okay and and no i was like if it is like 45 minutes and you are already bored in 44 so i'll have to end up, end it up that way but no never mind 
now i'll uh, show you one more thing uh, it would uh, it is a, a prepared excel sheet i'll show you how these model or modeling look like not exactly but yeah you will try to create uh, some of some of oh, some I... of these things <laughs> so this is this is for SBI. I can't see. Okay. SBI is visible to you, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, so this is for a bank call. I'll show you like in the reverse order. No, let it be like this only. So, uh, this is the financial summary. Financial summary. You all might be might I all should be aware. Ki what is a balance sheet? Anyone? What is a balance sheet? i should be ashamed asking you this but just just to know your understanding huh mm -hmm. it is only showing me talking so you don't know what is a balance sheet or you don't want to answer it so balance sheet oh, shows uh, the payment and uh, uh, receipt of, of, of company uh -huh. uh, how much we means uh, statement showing the amount of money and property that company has how much has been received or paid out okay uh not too accurate but yeah i would appreciate at least you are trying anyone else and what is the main component of balance sheet anyone if you are not comfortable talking you can write it down if you don't want to say anything, you oh, 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 you should be doing this. Oh my God, this is going to be a hell lot of task for me now. So yeah, this is the balance sheet. The basic function is like you should have, uh, you are supposed to have two sides, assets and liabilities. Assets, which are the Earnings of the company and the liabilities which a company has to pay out to the to its uh, debtors or the lenders, and these two things, uh, these two uh, sides, I would say, should be equal. I mean, uh, uh, they should be equal. The amount or the value uh, in the asset side and the liability should be equal. So never mind. So this is the balance sheet. This is the data we had for like 2020 and then uh, this is the data we have for 2021 and we are estimating it for 2022 and 23 so these are the financial assets these are the non-financial assets these are the liabilities these are the non-financial liabilities these are the equity and these are the total and then this is the cash flow statement and uh, this is the ratio analysis I, i'm just uh, i'm just showing it to you as of now we will try to develop it by our own okay so assumption uh, these are the uh, this is the revenue model estimate uh, is this and actual is this and and then this is revenue recognition how 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 the company is getting the revenues and then these are the certain assumptions which have been uh, used in this uh, in this uh, in this dashboard or in this financial data uh, financial modeling sheet a spreadsheet i would call and then this is the income statement of the company uh, this is for uh, this is actual for the year 18 19 20 21 and this is as estimated for 22 or 23 and uh, nothing more than that 
and then finally this is the balance sheet actual balance sheet which has assets and liabilities and then this is the cash flow statement so you know these are interactive in nature you will know, you'll feel different colors and these are easily understandable and this is the cash flow statement which we would also be uh, preparing it using excel in the coming future and these are the ratio which i told you earlier different valuation growth profitability and stability ratios are there this is our historical and these are forecasted and this is the dcf value and final we are doing it to have a comparison uh, between the other big uh, other big companies uh, i want to say companies banks so bank of balodra in state bank of india union bank of india indian bank punjab national bank hdfc rbl so uh, in this sheet we try to compare it with the other and uh, with the other banks and we are putting ourselves in in a dimension uh, where uh, we can compare uh, where we can compare it with other banks this is as simple as that so we will try to work out certain things out of them and we will try to uh, i'll try to uh, take you through the syllabus you have provided this i prepared it for some other uh, uh, some other program so i won't be teaching you this but i just showed it to you so that you can have a at least little idea of how things would how things uh, you would be doing in the uh, coming future if you are attentive or you are attending the classes so uh, do you find it fascinating or you find it like it's really boring what is this what the hell is this and something like this or are you interested in uh, are you interesting are you interested in learning uh, to build these models or something like this <laughs> or at okay. least you are enough motivated yes, to hear me <laughs> yes yes sir yes yeah okay ओमकार जय श्री एक बार यस सर ही बोल के सुना दो यार अपने आवाज से सुना दो व्हाट इज स्टॉपिंग यू मैन यस सर आई नो ओमकार आई कैन आई कैन रिमेंबर योर वॉइस फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ ट्रस्ट मी यू आर द वन हु स्पीक लाइक आफ्टर मी यू आर द वन हु स्पीक मोस्ट हम ओमकार जय श्री प्रणव चैतन्य ऐश्वर्या मैट्रिक्स तो शायद ये ऑफिस वाले को होंगे दीपिका प्रतीक्षा ऋतुजा शुभा मुई होगा शायद एंड ऋतुजा दो है क्या नहीं शायद वो करो गल सो या एनी क्वेश्चन एज ऑफ नाउ और और व्हाट व्हाट आर योर एक्सपेक्टेशन आउट ऑफ मी एज अ फैकल्टी और और समथिंग यू वांट टू शेयर और से Sir, your teaching is very good, sir. No issue from my side. <laughs> I won't touch anything so far. But okay, Omkar, I appreciate this. Other than Omkar, any one of you want to say something, or if you, uh, if you want to, like, you have certain expectation out of me. What should I do while uh, while teaching you? What should I avoid doing? And how would we progress? Simultaneously, me as a faculty and you as a student. यार अच्छी खासी comedy मैं करता हूँ लेकिन my God जब response नहीं आता है तो I feel like bad. So, uh, so uh, you want to finish this now? Okay, leave it. So I'll try to you know finish it. Uh, uh, wrap it up. so today we will uh, we learn what is the course structure i mean the units in the subject and then uh, we went on to understand the program ob objective or the course objective out, out of it i mean what you would be doing after learning all the things okay and then we just try to uh, uh, i just try to you know help you understand what is financial modeling what is it's important how 
how we can use it and then i showed you an excel sheet where in different uh, different uh, different uh, uh, parameters were there or different uh, models we can say it were there and we will try to build uh, as per our requirement in future and for tomorrow or whenever the class is scheduled i don't know uh, we will be learning the basic of excel which is the formatting formatting is like i will be just helping you to understand what these ribbon ribbon functions so uh, this is all from my side other than what i am about to say now so again uh, this would be repetition though i hate repeating things but yeah when i do not get the response i desired i i tend to repeat things so uh, first thing first i appreciate if you uh, 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 out of your you know really busy schedules and you try to uh, you try to keep yourself free at least for one hours and my ideal timing would be like 7 to 8 i though i shouldn't be saying this but yeah never mind i'll say Uh, i don't care i mean what you are learning or how many hours you are devoting to attending these boring online lectures but for this hour you need to be a little proactive in the sense try to uh, get yourself free for this hour first thing second thing is that try to Uh, get as little interruptions as possible this is genuineness i i can understand you know there are trouble at home there are things happening around you but if there is a wish if there is a will there is a way so i'll i i expect that you uh, should be at a quiet place where there the interrupt the interruptions can be as little as possible and uh, and your internet connections अब तो यार सुधर जाना चाहिए वी आर डूइंग इट फॉर लाइक टू इयर्स सो यू नो इट इज लाइक हाँ समटाइम्स इन बिटवीन इट गॉट इंटरप्टेड आई नो दिस थिंग्स हैपन यू नो समाइम यू नो बैंड विथ फ्लैक्चुएट समाइम करंट इशूज आर देयर समाइम सिस्टम इशूज आर देयर दीज आर द प्रॉब्लम आई अंडरस्टैंड दीज थिंग्स बट वी शुड नॉट टेक दिस दीज थिंग्स एज एन एक्सक्यूज टू अवॉइड इट Uh, since uh, i mean i have been teaching quite a few places but i have <laughs> this this is strength if ha uh, okay so matlab these are the total students or some of you uh, are yet to join i mean they were like i asked to pehla lecture we can skip it or something like this or you or there are only 12 participant as of now uh, one is me and then one would be from someone from college would be monitoring it too and then there are 10 students so these are all 10 or there are some more students which we would expect or anticipate that they would join in future classes if any one of you can answer uh, sir basically uh, 15 to 16 students rehte hain sir class mein kitne sorry 15 to 16 students rehte hain sir hmm hmm to mera mujhe matlab meri class mein to nahi hai wo sa hai kya नहीं सर ऐसा कुछ नहीं सर फाइनेंस के अलग रहते हैं ना फाइनेंस के स्टूडेंट और अदर स्पेशलाइजेशन के स्टूडेंट्स अलग है ना दैट आई नो मैम मतलब फिर भी दस ही स्टूडेंट्स है जिन्होंने फाइनेंशियल मॉडलिंग लिया है दिस इज व्हाट आई एम आस्किंग और देयर आर सम मोर स्टूडेंट्स सो देयर आर मोर स्टूडेंट्स सर ओके सो ओके ओके सो इफ यू हैव सम official or an official whatsapp group or something like this please pass on to them also uh, because you know from tomorrow onward i would be starting like really uh, on a serious note and you know if you miss certain things out of it so and you know the course is too lengthy for me to complete it in like 15 or 20 lectures but i'll try my level best to wind it up as soon as possible and also to make it impactful so that you can learn something and you can have it uh, for your life at least certain things in your mind so this would be my expectations so pass on to them and ask them to join if they wish otherwise no problem but i want you to be like more active from tomorrow 
because you know uh, excel and excel it's not it would be it it won't be like a uh, boring class i would say because there are a uh, very less theoretical part of it most of the most of it is practical so yeah i guess i am done this is what i have to say today if any one of you want to say something or say something fine otherwise i am done from my end for today any any question you want to ask like personal question professional question research question finance question marketing job anything sir i have one question about yeah. the schools the college sir सर हमारे कॉलेज ऑफलाइन चालू होने वाले हैं क्या सर सब ऑनलाइन रहेंगे अभी तक अभी से दिस यू आर आस्किंग दिस फ्रॉम अ राइट फ्रॉम अ रॉन्ग रॉन्ग कैंडिडेट आई आई कैन आई कैन से दिस यू हैव टू आस्क इट फ्रॉम वन विद इन द योर कॉलेज आई एम नॉट आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग दिस लेक्चर आई एम नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ योर कॉलेज ओके सर थैंक यू सो दिस वाज द ओनली थिंग ओके ओके thank you so much for joining i wish uh, to have more interactive session uh, tomorrow uh, today it was like a uh, bit uh, a bit boring but yeah never mind i am happy the way it went okay thank you so much thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir yeah.